Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. I am the Mizzentalk. Welcome back for more Red Dead news. Red Dead Redemption 2. Now available. The Laws for Life. Yeah, so I thought I'd uh, put together a few things for us. A little bit of a sum up since the, uh, the release um, of all the uh, recent news that Rockstar's given us and some other uh, upcoming things. Plus, we'll have a look at some uh, footage that I got my hands on, too. <laughs> so, today we are proud to announce, while well, this was for Friday, that they have released... Red Dead Redemption 2 for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And we're going to talk about the uh, PC a little later on when we get to the companion. So, yeah, this is where we begin. They've definitely uh, updated us that it's uh, out there and everything's been great. There's been tons of reviews and most of all these reviews are 10 out of 10. Um, you know, uh, I think I've been hard pressed to find any reviews that are against Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, the few that I could find out there, um, generally speaking, the only complaint was that uh, Rockstar didn't, um, in their opinion, they didn't push it beyond the, the realm. You know, they did things, you could think of GTA 5 and other things like as a huge masterpiece and then going further, pushing it further, but you're not exactly changing things. You're not exactly bringing things in. I guess a way of, of saying that would be that people wanted um, the world to truly uh, interact with them. In, in not in a scripted way or anything, but I think that that's just people getting ahead of the technology. Um, hopefully Rockstar will do something like that for us in the future. But that said, those scripting moments, if you if you will, if you want to call them that, um, there is a ton of them, almost an endless amount of them in the game, like a really large amount of these um, interactions that are out there. So, you know, as an open world, it's winning 10 out of 10 points. But some people were hoping it would be an 11 out of 10, if you know what I mean, that extra little bit. But instead, it was just um, uh, a truckload, but not a new truck. Does that make any sense? You know, but everybody's really happy because, you know, it's, you know, everybody hoped for the truckload and that's what we got, you know. Yeah. So download the free Red Dead Redemption 2 companion app. And we're going to get to that. So we could read through this, but it's just mainly about the launch and that everybody's very happy. And that, uh, yeah, join the Vanderlyn gang as Arthur Morgan mm -hmm. for Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, our next one here just came out the other day from Newswire here, uh, from Rockstar. Red Dead Redemption 2 Social Club Features. So if you're not a part of the Social Club, you should be. Um, if you're a GTA player, you can get extra bonus money and things like that. So hopefully, but some of you may not be a player for that. So you may want to hook up to the Social Club if you if you didn't. If you hooked up to the game, I'm sure it prompted you to and you might have skipped it. But there are some extras that you can get that way. So enhance your Red Dead Redemption 2 experience with your Social Club membership. Track your progress as you play the story and keep tabs on all the challenges you have taken on. Browse and shop with the Wheeler Rossin catalog to purchase clothing, supplies, and ammunition for Arthur. Delve deeper into the world of Red Dead Redemption 2 via the compendium. And share and view and rate photography taken with Arthur's camera from self-portraits to stunning landscapes. So it sounds similar to like the GTA that you can uh, share and see other photography. You can uh, like other pictures that other people have taken and things like that, much like the Statmatic type stuff. Um, you can uh, see the compendium, which is kind of like a guide for if you want extra information. So if you wanted to read more, or maybe when you're at work, or maybe when you're occupied, or in between things, or unable to play, this gives you even more content. And I imagine in the future they'll have bonuses. So if it's anything like their other games, they usually give you bonuses for being part of the social club. So you may want to join up with that. Yeah. Now, launch day, they mentioned, and I'm just going to breeze over this, that um, that uh, uh, that there is a make sure you have your automatic updates for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And guys, all these links will be in my um, in the description if any of you guys need them, or on the Social Club website. And yeah, basically have your updates, because there was an update right on launch day, and I imagine the game like this will have plenty of little bugs throughout the way. Probably years from now, they'll still be fixing bugs, so I definitely recommend having your updates on. For players who have pre-ordered Red Dead Redemption 2, um, the game is now available to download. Yeah. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There was some more I wanted to go over here. Yeah, so the Rockstar Games site, make sure you report any bugs. And they've told us that they've optimized everything. Um, the Red Dead, the, the Social Club site did change for a lot of us GTA players. I wasn't sure I really liked the changes, but I guess it's supposed to be easier to use on phones and all other devices. And uh, set and primed for Red Dead Redemption 2 help requests and other issues that you might run into. So let them know. All right, moving on past that. Oh, yeah, coming in November, Red Dead Red Online uh, Beta. So we had to mention that before, but just to remind you, get ready for the launch of Red Dead Online Beta coming in November, as we announced previously. Red Dead Online is a new online connected experience set against the backdrop of Red Dead Redemption 2's enormous open world. As with most online experiences of this size and scale, there will inevitably be some tur turbulence at launch, and we look forward to working with our amazing and dedicated community to share ideas and help us fix teething problems and work with us to develop Red Dead Online into something really fun and innovative. Access to Red Dead Online is free to anyone with a copy of Red Dead Redemption 2 on either PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. 
Using the gameplay of Red Dead Redemption 2 as a foundation, Red Dead Online will be uh, ready to be explored alone or with friends. So it's nice that it says alone too. Alone or with friends, and will also feature constant updates and adjustments to grow and evolve this experience for all players. Stay tuned for more details about Red Dead Online in the coming weeks ahead. Now, I think before they kind of let it slip, it was November 28th or 26th, but uh, I would say being it's a beta launch, I wouldn't uh, hold them to a certain date yet, but it sounded like it was towards the end of November. So, interesting. Now, this is the uh, companion app, so some of you may want to download that for a phone or tablet if you've got your hands on one, and I think any computer, Windows computer that's uh, Windows 8 or above, Windows 8 or Windows 10 can run apps as well. So, uh, available for iOS and Android at game launch this Friday. Yep, so you might have to go to the Apple Play Store or the, um, the, the Google Play Store, I should say, and the, uh, uh, the uh, iTunes Store to download it. Yep, and you can uh, access stuff. So, so to me, in, in short, summarizing what they've got here, basically it seems like you can offset your uh, HUD, your, your on-screen display, your map and things like that, off to your phone or your tablet. Now, some of you might even have an old phone or something like that laying around that you don't use anymore, and this might be a good use for it. You know, just charge it up and then use it as your, your map. Now, personally, when I get around to doing Red Dead Redemption 2 online, um, to, uh, to doing it with you guys, um, to recording it, I probably will have the map on screen just so you guys can see it and everything. But that said, if some of you guys want to clear your screen even more so you get a better view of everything um, and maybe a little bit more interaction, you can get this companion app and, and uh, basically have your, your, your uh, interaction, your, your um, inventory and uh, your map and things like that offset to your phone, which is kind of cool, actually, I think. Yeah, it requires more connection, but I imagine it's very little data being transferred back and forth. Um, and uh, it sounds like it's useful. Yeah. yeah. This map will also show you Martha Morgan's core info and stats in real time. On your device, allowing you to completely remove the in-game HUD from your television, should you choose. Additionally, the companion, companion lets you examine Arthur's in-game journal, provides stat tracking through Social Club, contains full digital game manual, plus an optional digital version of Red Dead Redemption 2, complete official guide for piggyback, and more. All right. Uh, yeah. Let me go back to that one here for a second. So the other news was uh, Red Dead Redemption for the PC. So there is no announcement from uh, Rockstar. They've been kind of quiet about that. A lot of people are expecting it to come out on PC. That said, you'll find that some of the community are hesitant because um, Red Dead Redemption 1 did not come out on PC. And a lot of people, including myself, were very disappointed with that. I did get to play it, but I played it late on the console when I finally gave up on them um, um, releasing a PC version. And it's too bad. The PC can be expanded, 4K, all these kinds of things that sometimes people just prefer it, right? Anyway, um, that said, uh, a lot of people think it will come out on PC just because um, they've only skipped out on Red Dead Redemption 1 and I think one other title 10 years before. So in all of Rockstar's games over the last uh, bunch of years, you know, 10, 20 years, they've only skipped out on two of them for the PC. So a lot of people think the chances that this one will be is very low. Now, the other thing about this companion app that I wanted to mention about as far as the PC goes was that people have found PC-related links inside the companion app software. So a lot of people seem to think that that further backs the fact that we're going to see this on PC. Now, some of the links on here, on the on the, uh, the programming, the software, the code of this, this software, um, are just mentioning the PC version. Like I said, you can have it installed on a computer, like Windows 8 or Windows 10. So a lot of the software that mentions PC links are just simply mentioning the software version for the PC. That said, there are other links in the software that mention things like uh, resolution changes and video and graphics changes, and that has nothing to do with this companion app. So a lot of people think that that's hints that this is uh, this is that further hints that there's going to be a PC version coming out because it mentions a PC version and it mentions settings that are no that aren't working yet and aren't in existence yet. So hopefully that makes sense to some of you guys, but it made little hints and uh, and clues that there will be a PC version. I'm thinking there will be. The big question is how long. A lot of people would guess about a year next year sometime. I can't see it coming out this year, but uh, hopefully sometime next year we'd see that. Yeah, very, very cool. So let's have a look at some, uh, some footage that I thought was quite funny. Hey, Arthur. <laughs> All right, everybody. So here's some footage from a friend of mine. So thanks to that friend, you know who you are. Yeah, and uh, yeah, a close friend of mine is going to, of course, like many people, playing the game. So sent me a little bit of a clip here or two that we could use. So I'm going to show you guys when we finish here, uh, <laughs> Darthur getting drunk. I thought that was a hilarious clip, but I thought I'd let you guys see it for yourselves. So um, at the end here, we'll finish with that. 
So here Arthur is in the camp, and I just wanted to say a few quick notes for people that are just beginning or uh, just get starting or, or just about to buy it coming up, that uh, you might want to take your time in the game. Games like this are very big, and they're meant for you to take your time. Go slow, or else you'll miss out on a lot of it, and uh, the main story is, is not the main part. That's just something to kind of keep you guided, like a compass. The world is the main part, you know, so take your time. Now, right now, Arthur's uh, getting ready to eat here, and... Uh, you know, there's, uh, we'll see the cores in a moment here, but he, when he walked up, there was two cores there for his horse. So, um, some people didn't quite get the life thing. It's pretty easy, but, uh, some people missed it at the beginning. So I thought we'd just mention that seeing as he's just grabbing a bite to eat here anyway. Yeah. So you have, uh, um, your cores and your little bar. And some people got a little confused with that. I might even pause here with that. Ta -da! So he just, uh, healed up a little bit there. Just back up a little bit. So these are your life bars right here. These two are for your horse. You can see the little horseshoe icon just barely right there in the middle of that lightning bolt for his stamina. So these uh, little bars, like other games, you know, if it was, if this was like a shooting kind of game, which a lot of people are familiar with, so, you know, if your stamina, and this applies to all the rest, but I'll use the stamina as an example. Um, it, this is kind of like your long-term stamina, your core. And these are your cores, the circles. Okay, these little bars are basically your your momentary uh, amount of that. So in this case, so you could think of it as you you know you've got the energy to run right now, right? But you've also got your energy for the day where you need to sleep, where you need to recover your energy. Okay, so it's very similar to that kind of idea. You know, you can you can take damage and recover. This will recover on its own over time, taking your time. But in order to actually heal your core, you need to eat food and rest. Okay, so I just thought I'd cover that. Some people missed that in the beginning. It kind of explains it a little funny. Yeah. And like I said, take your time. And uh, a game like this is meant to be explored and and, uh, and uh, take your time with all those kinds of things. I'd also say don't buy any weapons. Most of the weapons will be unlocked through the story. So you don't really actually need to buy any guns. I'd save your weapons for other, or your money for other things like uh, the gun upgrades and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Now the camp itself, I did want to mention some things as far as taking your time goes. Um, you know, there are things like an example would be that the, the uh, in the camp here, you can actually sometimes in the night, it'll, it'll, uh, the, the, the crowd will develop into a party, you know, like it'll actually get going and going until the point that they're having a little get together. Now, some people might feel inclined to skip those parts, <laughs> but you're actually better off to, um, uh, uh, to watch all those if you want to enjoy all the stuff. So some of those parties only happen once. So if you skip them, you may not see them again. So another point, of, uh, point to uh, taking your time would be that some of these things only happen once and you may, you know, if you skip them, you may not see them again next time. And you may think that they're happening all the time, but they're not. Yeah. So just a few little notes about the camp and starting out and enjoy yourselves. Yeah, and hopefully I'll be joining with you guys as soon as I can. We are uh, working towards being able to start on Red Dead Redemption 2. Still not sure what platform it would be, PlayStation 4 or uh, Xbox, um, but uh, we are working towards it. We'll see which one wins out by the time we get there. So, yeah, now let's head over to that footage and we'll, we'll uh, update some more Red Dead Redemption news soon. But I thought I'd give you guys an update now that it's launched and that everybody's very happy with that. And uh, if you feel like running into any, any of your experiences or if you've had any, uh, any negatives or pros or anything awesome or any tips for other people, feel free to put them in the comments down below. Hey, hmm. get up. What is it, Arthur? Lazy folk. Hey, <laughs> All right. And talking to people does raise your, um, your honor. So if you've lost honor doing dishonorable things, you can go around talking to people. Most people have about three interactions, so you can talk to them over and over to escalate the conversation. And that way you can actually get back um, honor quite easily or get it even higher if you want to. Yeah, big, big map. All right, everybody, well, let's have a look at that uh, drunken footage. So you take care, and I'm Nose and Zog. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you guys again very, very soon. Thanks to all our Patreon fans. We are working towards Red Dead Redemption 2. And some other titles, too. So, talk to you guys soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Hope you enjoy the footage.
friend to me, Arthur. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Not you again? Yeah.